Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restoration. So, on the roundabout today is our monthly dibs build, and it is all things Jeep. So, I have a lot of Jeeps. I have old Jeeps, I have new Jeeps, I have 4x4 Jeeps, I have Wranglers, and everything in between. So, this one here I thought I would do. This is actually a Yacht Ming. And this is really detailed. It's really cool. I got the little engine there. And what I like about the spare tire is the same as these tires. Same scale and everything. So this is a CJ7. Uh, Matchbox did this a super fast version in the 70s, I believe. A red one with a tan roof. So uh, I don't know what color I'm going to do. I don't have any idea what I'm going to do with this thing. But all I know, I'm going to have fun. So anyway, there it is. This month's build. The Yacht Ming Jeep CJ7. All right, folks. Uh, let's get it off the roundabout and take it apart. All right, folks, so here is my Jeep. So, funny thing, I was drilling out the one little rivet right here, and it turns out that this was the rivet. So that is held in there by that, and it all came crashing apart, so there you go. So when I put this back on, I have to just glue it on there really good, so it's kind of interesting. You know, these... These little castings, they so much engineering that goes into them. So anyway, the spare tire, which I'm actually shocked, has even survived all these years. It just kind of gets pressed on. So that's kind of uh, shocking. That, that's still there. And here's my engine. I'll try to detail that the best I can. Anyway, what else we got? We got the tires. The hood, the interior, not the right home about. Anyway, so there's that. My window unit in great shape. And the chassis. So there we have it, folks. Should be a fun build, should be easy. No complications, I hope. And now I just gotta figure out what color to paint it. All right, stick around. All right, folks, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. I started with a factory CJ7. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, folks, it is time for my reveal for my Jeep for the monthly dibs build. So I just want to keep this one simple, even though I did have to paint it three times. My first one was pink. I wanted to do a pink Jeep. And then my second one was a chrome yellow out of the Tamiya can, and that was just garbage. It just flooded, it didn't fill, it was just awful can of paint. And then I just went with a metallic blue. Something about uh, Tamiya and their metallic paints, they always go on so smooth. So anyway, here it is. Let's bring it up close. So there's my front. Let me see here. Painted the grill, headlights, parking lights, even did the bottom. Um, I have never, I don't ever do the bottoms, but I thought, why not? Did the interior a little blue. And let me know what you think of it. And next month is, I believe it is my pick uh anything from the 50s for cars so not particular die cast years but more car years so anyway uh let me know what you think about this one and thanks for watching thanks for all who uh participated i've already looked at several uh, builds so thank you so much everybody so thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video 
That's all, folks.